Lakers in control a few times throughout this game. Seemed like they outplayed the Clippers for most of it. Up seven in the second, up six in the third, up eight in that fourth quarter. And that was about with eight minutes left. Clippers end on a 25 to 12 run, James. Probably the most disappointing loss of the season this year. Without a doubt. Um, you know, you the, it's, it's not a rivalry, but it is a, it is a crosstown thing going on. And the Lakers came tonight to try to redeem themselves, I think. They, they, you know, they played hard. They, you know, they, they had an eight-point lead there, and, they, and then they turned it over. Uh, but this was a, just a very disappointing game. Uh, I don't even know how to explain it right now because you couldn't stop Lou Williams. And I just think down the stretch, they just could not find any – type of synergy offensively I would I would have liked to seen uh, Clarkson in the game I mean he's the he's the third leading scorer off the bench in the league uh, Kuzma is your leading scorer in the team but I know there were some defensive deficiencies but I think down the stretch when you really need to get some buckets uh, I would have liked to see them in the game ball was not uh, impactful at all down the stretch in the fourth mm -hmm. quarter one for seven, one for six. You needed some experience in there. They could get some, get the job done. So I would have been willing to give up a little bit of defense to, to get this one over the hump for a win. But this was a disappointing loss, and the nastiest taste in the mouth I think this season. My opinion. <clears throat> hey, well, you, you talk about giving up defense. It wouldn't really matter because the only person out there was scoring was Lou, Lou Williams. Williams. And, yep. you, and that's the situation where you want to blitz him. And you, you look at the toughness of a team. You know, going in at the halftime. They had more offensive rebounds than the Clippers. And in the second half, the Clippers out rebound them offensively by eight boards. And, and that's one of the things that you can show a sign of a team who wants it more. And yeah. I think the Clippers in the second half came out and said, hey, these are an in house rival. Let's go out here and, and, and put our foot down. And they came out and played tougher on the defensive end, tougher on the offensive end. And that has a lot to do with Lou Williams. And when you have a guy that's hot like this, the first Rule of thumb, James, is to get it out of his hand. Mm -hmm. and they didn't get the ball out of his hands. And, and, and plus, <clears throat> it's not like this guy, you don't know this guy. Yeah, you play I, a lot of games with this and guy. Even, so, yeah. And even before that, the same type of plays that Lou Williams was getting, Austin Rivers was getting. And mm -hmm. I just, that this just shouldn't happen in, in a game where you know Lou Williams is the threat. Austin Williams, you should force him to shoot jumpers every time. I mean, I'm sorry, uh, Austin Rivers. You should force him to shoot jumpers every time, and he got layup after layup, so it was just disconnected. You know, we, we applauded the team <clears> at, <throat> at half because we loved the physicality that they brought to the game, something they had not done with the Clippers over the past few years. They brought that physicality with Blake, with DeAndre, but with the guards, like you said, Austin Rivers, Lou Williams. I mean, guys, Lou finished with 42. He had 15 in the third, 14 in the fourth, 14 for 14 from the line, and, and, and just didn't have an answer for him. Yeah, he didn't have an answer for him, but the thing is, you know, he, he got a couple of those up and unders where we know he's going to get. Yep. And I remember we would play guys like that. Pop would say, you're going to owe me 100 bucks yeah. if you go for this move. You know, just to keep it in your mind, like, do not do that. I know it, it was the move was performed on heart a lot of times, and he's a rookie, and he's not used to it. But this is one of the things you have to be conscious of. You have to buckle down and know when he goes right, he's going to the hole. When he goes left, yep. he's going to step back for a three or shoot the jumper. You have to know your, your, your game plan and know who and how to stop certain players. And tonight, Lou Williams just torched us. Yeah, no doubt.